This year has been a year of a lot of change. And if there's one thing that 2020 taught us is that you have to be able to adapt and adapt very quickly. Among many other things, 2020 proved to the people that doubted this social media thing and making money online and saw it either as a quick fad or just a side thing that this social media thing is here to stay. And not only is it possible to make money with social media, but it's become almost vital in today's society. And having these tools and knowledge in your arsenal are gonna make you much more valuable in the market that we're moving into. And so what I want to do in this video is get very practical, no fluff, no BS, just get very practical and give you four very specific ways that you can start making money on social media in 2020. What are some of the new platforms you should be looking out for? What are some of the business models that are going to be booming in 2021? And no, you don't need thousands of followers on social media to make money. You also don't need a huge investment and let alone a marketing college degree. So I'm super excited for this video. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jaime and I run one of the leading social media marketing agencies in the world where we take e-commerce brands and we transform them into market leaders. One of the things about me and my YouTube channel is that you'll never hear me talk about something that I'm not currently doing or I haven't done myself in the past. And so these four ways that I'm going to talk about are either things that I do right now that constitute my $50,000 profit months or things that I've done in the past that have made me money. So without further ado, let's go right into it. <laughs> The first way of making money on social media is selling your own product. Now, there are two categories that you can go down. The first one is the product route. So essentially, you take a product and you sell it to a specific niche. Now, a lot of you may have heard about the concept of dropshipping, and I'm here to tell you that dropshipping is in decline, and for a number of reasons. Number one is very, very slow shipping times. Customers nowadays are used to one, two, three day delivery. In fact, you probably watching this video are not used to waiting you know, two, three, four weeks for a product. The thing about dropshipping is those are the waiting times that the customers have to get accustomed to and that is just really really poor uh, customer experience not only that but for most of these drop shipping brands the their main engine of growth is facebook ads and facebook has really been quacking on drop shipping websites disabling ad accounts really going hard this year simply because it's not a great uh, customer experience and what facebook is, is constantly doing is it's trying to keep their users happy and it's also trying to keep their advertisers happy but they understand that without users, there'd be no advertisers, right? And so the users are put on a pedestal and if someone buys something from Facebook and they don't like it, then that hurts the company. And so what Facebook does is it penalizes those advertisers. So that's made it really hard for dropshippers to grow their brands. Honestly, I could talk about this for hours, but the main gist is if you pick a business model where it doesn't really offer much value to society or the end users, then you're probably in the wrong business model. And the thing about dropshipping is it doesn't really offer any value except for the person that starts the brand, if that person is to make money, right? It doesn't really offer any value to the end consumer because let's be real, for most products, there's no unique selling point, right? You're literally just taking a product from Alibaba that the customer could have found themselves. Sure, you have deliverability, you have the marketing, the branding side of things, right? But it doesn't really add much value to the end consumer. And if that is ever the case for any business model, then you can probably bet that that business model is not gonna have much longevity. On the flip side, I do believe that starting an e-commerce brand can be profitable, right? Especially in booming markets due to the current social landscape like home decor, work from home, uh, health and wellness, et cetera, et cetera. So starting a brand in those niches can be lucrative. The only downside of starting an e-commerce brand is that there can be quite a big investment of time, energy, and most importantly, money at the start. And not only that, but you have to be quite well-versed at different components, different aspects of business to actually be successful with it. I'm talking about product development, logistics, marketing, branding, uh, building a team, et cetera, et cetera. And how would you use social media to grow this business? You can either go down the paid route, so you can pay for a Facebook ads or Snapchat ads or TikTok ads or Google ads, right? And you can get in front of your dream customers, or you can go down the organic route and you can pick social media platforms where it's fairly easy to get a lot of eyeballs or there's a land grab of attention. Like for example, TikTok. We've seen a lot of TikTok brands just pop off this year, just purely on TikTok with purely organic growth. And so that is the first category. Now, the second category is you can sell an info product. You can sell either a course, a program, information, mentorship. With the current social landscape, we've also seen a massive disruption in the way we learn, in the way we work, in the way we collaborate, right? Nowadays, we're using platforms like Teachable to learn. Uh, we're using platforms like Zoom to communicate, right? And not only that, but people are realizing that there's a massive need and a massive uh, gap in the market when it comes to understanding social media, leveraging social media to build businesses, monetizing your passions through a personal brand, et cetera, et cetera. And people are waking up to this fact. And at the same time, the effectiveness of college has drastically, drastically decreased. And so a lot of people have sought out information online that is more up to date and touches on topics like those. If you decide to go down that route, you wanna make sure that you're actually walking the talk. But if that is a given, if you're truly an expert at what you do, if you are actually, for example, making money with the thing you're teaching others how to do, I'm all for it. And it's definitely quite a scalable business model and a very rewarding one because you're truly seeing the impact of 
your actions and this knowledge on the lives of people. The second way you can make money using social media is you can actually sell other people's products for them and then take a cut off that. The first way that you can do this is through affiliate marketing. So you pick a product, then you get a, a referral link to that product and then you drive traffic to your referral link if people buy from your link, then you get a commission uh, of that. And so it's quite a scalable business model where the only variable, the only thing you have to figure out is how to drive traffic to your link, how to get eyeballs on your affiliate link. And you can do that with paid ads. So Facebook ads, you can do that by building an organic audience. Uh, you can do that by referral partners and a bunch of other methods. The second way that you can do this is you can become a closer for the people who are selling the info products we talked about in part one. So you can actually help them close people for a, a high ticket course. So maybe a course that is at two, three, five, 10 K, right? Um, and then make a commission of that. So you're closing people on Instagram DMs, you're closing people on Facebook DMs, you're emailing people, you're cold calling people, uh, you're hopping on calls with these people, and then you're helping them close these deals. And so that is also a very viable way of making money, especially if you like the sales side of things, because you literally have no product, you're just selling that product and you're making money uh, from doing that. So that is the second way that you can make money using social media, using these communication platforms, not only as an affiliate marketing by driving traffic, but also as a closer by jumping into those DMs, by qualifying, by lead sourcing these people, and then uh, closing people for courses, mentorships, and info products. So that is the second way that you can make money using social media in 2021, and now to the third one. Well, but before we get into the third point, if you're finding any value in this video, I really appreciate you. You just go ahead and you make sure that that ugly gray looking like button turns into a very sexy blue because the algorithm just loves that for some reason and I'd really appreciate it. So if you can do that right now, that would be awesome. And uh, with that being said, let's get back into the video. The third way of making money using social media is selling attention. What does that mean? How, how can you sell attention? The first thing that you need to understand is that money follows attention. And when you have attention, when you have eyeballs on whatever you are doing in life, you're never ever gonna go broke. And that is something that you really, really need to understand. And keep in mind, especially in the social media landscape, where you can get a lot of eyeballs and the whole game is almost getting a lot of eyeballs on whatever you are doing, on your affiliate links, on your info products, on your e-commerce brand, et cetera, et cetera. So the first way that you can monetize this attention is by building a personal brand in a specific niche and partnering with really incredible companies, AKA, brand deals. And that is a massive chunk of income for most influencers. For example, in my case, I don't really consider myself an influencer, but for my personal brand in the entrepreneurship, social media marketing, and uh, finance space, which is of a pretty decent size, especially on TikTok, and especially knowing the market cap in this industry, which is tiny compared to the entertainment industry. This year, I've partnered with brands such as Shopify, Founder Magazine, Headway App, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the only problem I see with brand deals is that it doesn't really have true longevity because you're not actually building a business. So you don't really have control over the throughput and the output of that equation, right? At any given point in time, especially if you stop getting views, for example, your throughput, your uh, brand deals could dry up and that could literally mean your whole income gets slashed. And so believe building a business is the way to go, especially if you want to have longevity, which I think everyone does. And that is why my main thing, my main business is my social media marketing agency by far. And then I've also got my consulting slash coaching slash mentorship component. But hey ho, uh, brand deals are always fun. And it's definitely a way of making money using social media. The second way of monetizing and selling this attention is building a product based off your existing attention. So for example, in part one, I talked about building an e-commerce brand and then thinking about paid ads or organic traffic to get eyeballs on that brand. This is reverse engineering that process and starting with the audience and asking yourself, what does this audience really want? There's honestly a lot of examples on this. Uh, for example, Kylie Cosmetics, but in a much smaller scale, two big TikTokers uh, this year, uh, I think Josh Richards and Bryce Hall, partying, living in the moment. And what they were doing pretty much for a living is shotgun uh, Red Bull cans. And so what they realized is why give Red Bull all this free publicity? You know, we're talking literally millions of eyeballs why not create our own energy drink? And that way we can build a business that can actually surpass us and, and be bigger than us uh, and has true longevity. And so that is a good example of turning attention and followers into a product that these followers are gonna buy and turning that into a, a very viable uh, business. So that is the second way that you can actually monetize uh, your attention. And the third way is just plainly through the revenue you can earn from these platforms. For example, there's people like Graham Stephan that are making incredible amounts of money just purely from YouTube AdSense. We're talking millions a year, but again, taking it to a smaller scale, you could have like, you know, five, 10, 20K uh, in, in YouTube, I'm making, you know, one, two, three, five K a month, which is a pretty decent side income or an actual business. So that is the third way that you can make money using social media in 2021. And now to the final, but most important way of making money on social media, which is literally the way that I recommend any person starting out 
on social media, any beginner entrepreneur, even seasoned entrepreneurs, this is by far the best way to make money on social media. And that is offering a social media related service. Social media has opened up a ton of new needs and services in the marketplace, both for businesses. So B2B, for example, starting a social media marketing agency, which is the business that I run, which is the business that I absolutely love and I'm so passionate about uh, because you can literally start with zero. And that's really the great thing about all these services is that not only does it cost you zero to start because you're not actually buying a product, you don't even have to build uh, a massive audience, right? So you can start at any point, you can start making money from literally day one possibly, right? But the profit margins are huge because again, you're not selling a product. So you could be taking home 75, 80, 85, 90% profit margins, but it's also the most simple to start because you only have to master one single service. You're not starting an e-commerce brand where you have to you know, create a product. You have to uh, you know, hire a team. You have to um, you know, learn about marketing, branding, et cetera, et cetera. You just have to become an expert at your service and market yourself in a very specific niche. So as I was saying, you can have B2B services, like for example, starting a social media marketing agency that helps businesses grow online using the power of Facebook ads, Google ads, et cetera, et cetera. You can also offer to these businesses social media management. So you can take their Instagram account, you can take their TikTok account to a whole new level. And by doing that, generate more eyeballs to their brand, which in turn will make them more money and will grow their business. Or you can also have business to consumer to content creator services. Like for example, you can become a video editor for uh, influencers. You can become a video editor for content creators. And so for example, my video editor editing this video, uh, initially uh, DM me on Instagram, we had a, a chat. He was a great fit and boom, now he's part of my team. Or you could also approach influencers who have built their audience, primarily maybe Instagram or YouTube, and you can consult them on how to grow on TikTok. There's so many possibilities and hopefully you guys can see that you can get very creative when it comes to services and there's such a myriad of services that you can offer even creating youtube thumbnails for youtube creators or helping them grow on youtube or editing their pictures there's such a myriad of different services that you can offer and that my friends is that for this video hopefully you guys can take some of the strategies some of the ways of making money on social media in 2021 and implement them in your life i'm honestly incredibly passionate about this because it's changed my life it's changed the life of my students who literally go from you know zero to 10 15 20k plus per month uh, for example, with their social media marketing agencies. So if you enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. It helps out with the algorithm, the whole channel. And I would really appreciate it. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, and a ton of other cool topics. So if you don't wanna miss that, go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon. And the final thing is if you haven't joined my free Facebook mastermind, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to change their lives using the power of social media. So if you are interested in that, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. Uh, go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we'll let you in. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your journey and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.